I'm you three weeks in the future. What? It's, it's a long story. Time travel is invented tomorrow. That's amazing! I am not talking to you! Okay, listen, man, she's crazy. Okay, I disagree, and that is really disrespectful. I mean, like, we have sex tonight, right? No. no. Well, it happened, and it was great. And then radio silence. No, no calls, no texts. You weren't even updating your Facebook status, and I started to think maybe you were dead, but your friend Carla told me that you weren't, and- You know Carla? No, I, I messaged a few of your friends on Facebook. Dude. Well, I was worried, and yes, self-conscious. I mean, we have sex, and, and, and then nothing. I mean, I, I, I do get that. Right? It's like, we've been dating for uh, like a month. Two weeks. And there's a lot of obvious pent up, like, will we, will we not, and then we do, and then... Okay, so wait, wait, you just traveled back in time to give this speech right now? Yes. Okay, you guys need to leave. Thank you. And, and also, fuck you. No, no, wait, okay? I'm sorry. How do we know he's really me? I will gladly show you my uncircumcised penis. Well, it was great seeing you again. Who am I kidding? It was terrible. I think both of you guys need to leave right now. Both of us? Why are you still there? She wants us to leave, man. Oh, so now you're Mr. Chivalrous, yeah? Ow! She's seeing other people, okay? None of them are serious. Them? Two. Two is a lot! Okay, listen, honestly, I've wanted to tell you and I felt really bad about it, but I just was afraid that I liked you more than you like me. What? Really? N no Focus! Uh, what's up? I'm you in nine weeks and you in three months. It works out. You look so beautiful right now. Is that weird to say? It's not a lie. <laughs> uh, anyway, in like a couple of months, we have a drunk hookup, right? I don't know, maybe. Oh, it'll happen. <laughs> you text me drunk out of the blue. One thing leads to another, and at like three in the morning, you open up about Dustin. Who's Dustin? It's my ex. Dustin. <laughs> He's the one guy to break it in. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay? Don't listen to him, man! She's actually crazy! Do you know how lazy it is to call a woman crazy? Okay? Maybe you drove me crazy. Maybe you're crazy. This whole thing's pretty fucking crazy. I agree. <laughs> okay. All right. I get a job at Drips, right? Uh-huh. And she doesn't like it because there's a barista that may or may not flirt with me. Are you talking about Deidre? That girl with the fake glasses who talks like a child and plays the ukulele? Uh, that's not how I would describe her, but... That girl. Right? Not on me. Did you flirt back? Yes! So sue me! Okay? I did! She wrote a song about what she had for breakfast and it was adorable. Oh, sounds really fucking cute. Uh-huh. How is that different from when a weird old dude hits on you at a bar and you're like, ah, it's so awkward and funny. When that happens, it is awkward and funny. Oh, don't give me that bullshit. 
Thank you! Well, I am so glad that you two agreed. Yeah, me too. It's a sense of self I never had in our relationship. You're sounding so much like Dustin right now. Well, then I'm beginning to understand Dustin. Well, does that mean that you fucked Deidre too? Maybe I did. Oh, you didn't. But I didn't. But I could because you broke up with me because some ukulele playing girl with a kid voice flirted with me. Why would I ever want to fuck that? She sounds like a child. I don't want to fuck a child. Oh my God. This is the worst. Can I talk to you for a second? Cool. God. Are you off the meds? Oh, what do you mean? Am I off Zoloft? Is that what you mean? Come on, man. I've been on Zoloft for like, on and off 10 years now. Yeah. Are you depressed? No, I was a long time ago. It was just a phase. Eh. I'm sorry that you went through that. Thanks. That means a lot. Hi, my name's Henry, I'm your son. Let me cut to the chase. I've come to realize that life is futile. If you guys don't get together, then that means I don't have to kill myself. Holy shit. It's not murder if it never happened. Oh, that's dark. You're my son. I was a good father, right? No. We got married, and she's pregnant! What? You want to take it slow? We can't take it slow! I just wanted to get laid, okay? Sorry. I don't know what kind of god complex your mom instilled in you, but why do you want to control everything? Things just happen in life. There's a million ways for things to happen in life, okay? They don't have to happen like this, maybe. I don't know. I'm not your only option. And you're certainly not mine. Okay. Thank God, yes! See you around. Ride safely.